The next patch for Star Citizen, probably dropping around October with CitizenCon, is at long last going to deliver a feature that many of us have been asking for for years. A way to defend ourselves against unwelcome guests within safe zones who board our ship against our permission. Using a new trespassing functionality that permits the use of weapons while within your ship in a safe zone. And while many are really happy to see this show up in the latest Inside Star Citizen video, I think that the joy of finally getting this feature may have caused many to overlook a rather unexpected downside to this feature. Trespassers will also be able to use weapons inside of your ship as well, whereas they couldn't before. So in a moment, I'm going to take you through this feature as it's been explained and point out where exactly I figured this out. And then we're going to discuss some other problems it might create, as well as some potential solutions. And I want you guys to join in in that conversation. And if along the way you think I did a good job and want to see more videos like this, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to show your support. And while this new security system for your ship might be somewhat questionable, one solution that you certainly can trust right out of the box is the sponsor of today's video, NordVPN who now take a step further with their new threat protection service. It works against intrusive ads, malware, trackers, and malicious websites, and I've already personally used them for years after getting fed up with dealing with free VPNs that just didn't work. So now I can access those IP-restricted websites I couldn't before while I work from abroad while protecting my information. I use the app on my iPad to also help me watch shows like Strange New World Season 2, which is frustratingly not available in Taiwan, and it's so good. Check out Episode 2, by the way. It's, it's amazing. So if you're looking for a reliable VPN service and you want to help support my channel, head on over to nordvpn.com slash morphologist to get a huge discount on a two-year plan plus one month for free. That's nordvpn.com slash morphologist. And if none of this really works for you, you can always get your money back with their 30-day money-back guarantee. So as it stands now, if you board someone else's ship at a station or in a landing area that's within a safe zone, the owner of the ship has no recourse to remove you. That is to say, the owner has basically two choices, either land the ship and store it, or kick the player out by killing them when they fly out of the safe zone. These are the only options, and the second one is quite a bit of a gamble and is probably not the best idea. Luckily, you can always tell if someone was on board your ship without your knowledge by checking the local chat of the ship's communications, which would show anyone who was on board the ship. And if you were paying attention, you would also get a notification that someone has boarded the ship as soon as they did so on the center of your screen. So then the new trespassing feature will change this. It's going to remove this so that you'll no longer get a notification for when someone boards your ship, and no longer will you see them in ship comms unless they are in your party. Instead, what's going to happen is that any player who's not in the owner's party will get a trespassing warning upon boarding, which will then escalate to a trespassing crime stat if they don't leave. At which point, the owner and anyone in the owner's party will be able to neutralize the border without any repercussions from local law enforcement. And yes, I mean shoot them. CIG then acknowledges, though, that there are going to be some edge cases with this new feature, and that's why they've had to take some time to deliver it. They need to figure out what's going to be a big problem and try to address it, such as the issue of nested permissions and how that's going to be handled, since you can land ships within other ships, so which one gets priority? They also explain that there could be the case where somebody was invited on board a ship while they were in a party and then they were removed. What happens then? CIG said that they would basically make it so that that player wouldn't get a trespassing warning until they left the ship and came back, or until they actually hurt another player, at which point the players on the ship would be able to shoot that bad guy. So then it seems pretty straightforward, until you look a little closer because there's something that they didn't say and it was right in front of our eyes. The player pirate immediately pulled a weapon upon entering the ship from the hangar. What this says then is that this feature isn't just going to allow players to defend themselves against unwelcome guests on their ship, but it's also going to enable said unwelcome guests to unholster their weapons while the ship is still docked or landed on a hangar or on a pad. When looked at this way then, this feature becomes quite a bit more of a change to Star Citizen than it first appeared. To be fair to CIG though, it's worth also noting here that this was always part of a larger plan feature. Many of you who are newer to Star Citizen might not be aware, it's always been planned that safe zones would eventually become enforced by NPCs, scanners, lawful players, reputation, and other gameplay functions, as opposed to some arbitrary barrier that forces players to holster their weapons. 
The idea is that Star Citizen deters players through deterrence, not by creating arbitrary traditional gameplay systems. It's always been kind of an issue for some, and a big thing that Chris Roberts, the creative Star Citizen, has always wanted to do with the game. Despite that though, this change is going to be shocking for many, as like I said, many of you might be new and might not be aware that this has been the plan. But just because it's always been a plan feature doesn't mean it's going to be a perfect implementation. There's always room for changes to make sure it works well and lets people basically enjoy the game. So let's talk about what kind of problems this might create. Now, assuming it works the way they've represented, anyone running up on your ramp may immediately draw a weapon when they hit the trespassing barrier and begin shooting other players. Now, if the players are ready for this who are defending the ship, who own the ship, they may already have their weapons drawn and be able to kill this pirate player before they're able to do any kind of damage. However, there is a bit of a problem with this looking at the way CIG explained this system. CIG indicated that there was going to be a warning first before the player who trespassed was given the crime stat, which implies that during this grace period of some indefined amount of time, they're not actually yet a criminal. Which then also means that if you shoot them, even seeing them board the ship with a weapon drawn, you won't be able to shoot them without getting a crime stat yourself until that time passes or until they shoot you, which leaves the players who are defending at a huge disadvantage. And well, you may just say, well, make it so the pirate player can't pull a weapon before the owner, that might not be a very good solution for people who want to actually do pirate gameplay. I mean, that is a part of the game that's been advertised and those players deserve their gameplay just as much as lawful players. And so that's probably not going to be a great solution. It may then be in the best interest of CIG just to make it so that the system doesn't give players any warning once they board a ship. If someone boards a ship that's not theirs, in my view, the owner should be able to shoot them pretty much immediately because they can draw their weapon just as fast. But that too can create some other possible problems. For example, if an unsuspecting new player was lured on board a ship without being in the party, they could be shot and looted without any kind of repercussions with that kind of system. And then what happens if a player who's already boarded the ship begins shooting at players outside of the ship where they're not able to draw up and to defend themselves? Is there gonna be damage caused to those players outside the ship or is it gonna work like it does now where they won't receive any damage until they exit the safe zone into the ship? So there are going to be a lot of issues, and there may be no perfect solution. In the end, it may just come down to players just having to know the rules and being responsible for their own actions. We'll just have to see. But there certainly aren't only downsides to this feature. The obvious positive is that players are finally going to be given some agency to defend their ship. As I said earlier in the current version of Star Citizen, if a player boards your ship who's not welcome, you have no way to get them off your ship until you either leave the safe zone, which is a huge risk to you, especially if you're alone, or until you store your ship, which isn't always an option if you're not at a landing zone. This is also going to prevent players from exploiting the current safe zone feature by flying into a safe zone to prevent people on board their ship from continuing to engage in, say, boarding activities. And while it's silly that in this very futuristic version of our universe, you can't have any kind of sensors to alert you when someone boards your ship, it's still going to be a good step forward to prevent players from being able to basically exploit that system to see who's on board a ship once they board it, either on the lawful or unlawful side. Overall then, in this Star Citizen's opinion, the change is a pretty good step forward for Star Citizen toward its intended final form. While I'm sure it's going to alarm a lot of people who certainly will encounter some edge cases, I think it's worth considering that the system will surely be adjusted if it's abused too much on its first release. It's also not going to be the final form of the game. There are a lot of other systems that are going to change this, like persistent hangers. I don't even want to think how that's going to work. It's going to be quite a bit of a challenge for CIG to figure out. But what do you think? Is this feature going to cause too much trouble, more than it's worth, or is it going to be an exciting step forward for Star Citizen? I'm also genuinely curious if you guys can think of any other edge cases that I didn't think of, so share them down below and any solutions you think are worth investigating for CIG. So watch your ramps guys and make sure you close them behind you, and as always, I hope to see you in the next one.